Yo, this is Haskins, and you are watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Mark Haskins. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Awesome, how are you doing? Yeah, great. Um, yeah, sore, tired. Um, but apart from that, fine. So, yeah, you wrestled yeah. a few times tonight here at Smash Wrestling. Like, yeah. You're a little beat up. Uh, well, yeah. Like, um, I've been on the road the past couple of days, and then I flew in earlier today, and then got beat up a lot tonight. So I'm feeling very sore, but I'm excited, and I'm happy to be back here in Canada. So it was, it's all good. It was obviously well worth it. So you just won the Gold 2K17 tournament. So that's, that's pretty big. I know, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm hyped. Uh, and the reaction I got at the end uh, from the fans, like I really didn't expect. So yeah, it just made everything worthwhile. There were so many Haskins chants going on tonight. It was pretty amazing. Uh, you don't need to say it like you're surprised. <laughs> like, dying. Like, how? <laughs> like, wow, I didn't dude. expect to you, see any for this You're guy. really over tonight. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Something happened for you out there. Like, all right, thank you. Yeah. We've been wrestling since about the age of 15, but have loved it for much longer than that. So what, what do you first remember as far as getting into it? Uh, so I started watching wrestling when I was nine, and I've realized recently how old I'm starting to feel because the same year I started watching wrestling was the same year that Tyler Bate was born, okay. which is why I hate him so much is because <laughs> he makes me feel so ridiculously old. I'm um, like anybody that's born past the release of Toy Story shouldn't be old enough to be a WWE champion. Like, can we just slow down this aging process a bit? But no, as far as like my career started, I was um, a fan of the British wrestling circuit. Like I started going to shows over there. Um, and then just one day I asked a tape trader if he had any information about where I could train and he pointed me in the direction of the FWA Academy and then, yeah, and then that was it. I was tortured for years until finally I became a wrestler, so <laughs> good times. You not only faced some pretty great talent tonight, but you've had some ridiculously cool matches with some other amazing wrestlers, but is there anyone you would love to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against that you've yet to step into that ring with? Brock Lesnar. Okay. Yeah, I just, is that I'm, there for you? Yeah, oh, how yeah, yeah, I would love to fight Brock. Yeah, I would suplex the shit out of him. I don't care. He <laughs> you wouldn't, turn the tables. He, like yeah, he'd, he'd get a taste of his own medicine. Just screw him. <laughs> Throw so. an F5 on his ass. Yeah, I would it. do the lot. You know, I practice <laughs> on my kids all the time. Just F5. And when they're in trouble, they get the F5. So, you know, they don't. They don't before anybody yeah, reports just, me just to anything. Yeah, just put it out there. Disclaimer. You know, yeah, 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 that doesn't happen. So, but, <laughs> No. I'm glad you mentioned it, your kids because you posted some really cool photographs of you playing dinosaur hunt games with them and I did notice that you posted like little figures of dinosaurs and referenced them quite a bit with Jurassic Park so is that a little uh, obsession that you have going? Yeah my son loves dinosaurs like as you can see I got a tattoo of him right here and he's holding one of his favorite dinosaur toys which is a T-Rex. Um, he has zero interest in wrestling whatsoever okay. and loves dinosaurs. Um, and uh, I was fortunate enough to be a part of a documentary which is called This Is Progress, mm -hmm. which is part of Progress Wrestling back in the UK. And um, my son, uh, we were up on the hills and uh, the guy who was um, there who was interviewing us from Alexa Media, he's an absolute machine as well, he needs a lot more credit than he gets. He, um, he just asked him like, what do you do here? And he's like, oh holy cow, are they after us? Is this here? <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's fire truck. Okay, it's cool. I Bro, thought okay. I was being, yeah, I was being detained. But no, um, <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, uh, he just said, like, oh, I'd like to chill out here and shoot dinosaurs. And then Progress decided to name it that one of their shows that. And then next thing I know, Jack's coming to the ring with me to shoot a dinosaur. Yeah. And, yeah, it, it was a crazy moment for sure. It was awesome. Is there but, anything else you'd say you obsess over or you really take interest in, of course, other than wrestling? No, not just really. Just like, and wrestling. <laughs> yeah, just dinosaurs and wrestling is pretty much it. Yeah, spending time with the family and, uh, yeah, that's... The, yeah, I'm really boring outside of here. I, like, I'm one of the most boring guys I know. So, <laughs> yeah, just cup of tea in bed is fine for me. Well, something you tweeted that caught my eye the other day was the only time people call me Mark is when I'm in trouble. Yeah. So what else do you like being called? Like, I imagine Haskins, Husky. Uh, yeah, so there's a few. Like, a lot of people call me Skins. Um, yeah, Haskins, Skins, Dickhead, you know, the <laughs> usuals. So... Is yeah. that is the latter a common one? Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, when I'm in real trouble, that's when it is. But yeah, no, very few people call me Mark. Um, so when somebody does, I'm like, who's that? Like, who's yeah. Mark? I'm like, you almost oh, don't respond to it. Yeah, yeah, because it's yeah. But also on the same side, like any one syllable sounding word sounds like it. So when somebody just shouts bark. Or it, it can just because lots of people are shouting that. Oh yeah, I don't know. Like <laughs> uh, even if somebody's just like, oh, I'm like, did someone just say my name? So, yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Little lesson for you there of noises and how I respond to them. So 
Yeah. You apparently recently discovered dark country dubstep. And you yeah. said it wasn't too bad. It, it was very weird. I found um, these dark country playlists on Spotify. And then there was one called Dark Country Dubstep. And um, I like dubstep and I like dark country now. And the two combined was intriguing to me. And I listened to some of them and some of them really work and some of them some really them. don't. So, you know, just pick and choose wisely. But Other than those genres, who are some artists that you've been really digging as of late? Um, so Crowbot, who sing my theme song. Um, I'm a huge fan of theirs. Um, I've got to see them live a few times. Uh, Five Finger Death Punch. Cool. Um, Metallica, Disturbed. Um, yeah, there's quite a few. And that, like, I feel like I'm such a head case in regards to music because I can like them, but then I'll like listen to Frank Sinatra as well. And yeah, just like a little bit of everything, I guess. It's nice so. to have an eclectic taste, right? Right. Like, it's good not to listen to angry music all the time because then you find <laughs> yourself just angry and you know ready to kick people. So, yeah. Out of all those different things you named there, if you could have one artist write a different theme song for you in the future, who would that be? Oh, um. I don't know. Damn, that's really caught me off. Okay. Eminem, Eminem. I'll do Eminem, yeah. Okay. I, like, it, no, no, I wouldn't. No, because <laughs> rap wouldn't suit me at all. I'll go say, yeah, Death Punch. Five Finger Death Punch, that would do. Okay. Well, yeah. I noticed that you recently had a pocket watch added to the family sleeve. Yes. So, a little stories here. So, the first tattoo I got here was this V, which is my wife's initial on my wedding ring finger. Okay. So, that's a wedding ring I can never take off. This crown here, my wife got uh, a queen crown, so we got like matching tattoos. But also, this was like the emblem of the parlor that we went into. Okay. So, you know, exciting times. Um, this is Lily, my daughter, with one of her favorite toys. This is a rose because lol. This is my son Jack, and then this is a uh, pocket watch up here, which is um, set to the date that my wife and I got together. So oh, that's, that's so for nice. her, and then this is for the kids. But the problem is, is that. Once you get one, like, you just want everything tattooed. That's and what I'm everybody just, says. You just get addicted to getting them. I know, right? I'm like, oh, like, there's so much more of me that can be covered. Like, just tattoo my face. Like, let's do this. So, yeah. <laughs> do you have any ideas of what you might want to get next? I got too many ideas. Not okay. all of them are good ones. Can so. you tell me some of the bad ones? Um... I don't know. What did I think? I was thinking about getting something on my spine that looked like my skin was like bursting open. I had like robotic oh, sort of insides. Oh, uh, I watch Ink Master. I totally like, know what that's called, but I can't think. What of the it. biomechanical? I think that might be like, what it's called, yeah. yeah, it's something like that. But I don't know. That was an idea I had, yeah. um, and it's something that I very may well still go through with at some point. But I don't know. Yeah. I guess it's one of those spur of the moment type things, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Like. I'm I'm kind of one of those people that might just be like, yeah, let, let's get something tattooed and then, like, regret it instantly. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's wrap things up. Is there anything you would like to leave with your fans who will be viewing? Just any parting words? Um, no. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, thank you for your support. Like, really, like, I can't live the life that I live without you guys. So thank you so much. Um, and thank you as well for everybody who comes to Smash. And, um, you know... It, the place is now like building so much momentum like I haven't been here in nine months and so much has changed and you know it just seems that they continue to do bigger and better things so thank you so much for everyone for coming out and making that possible for everybody involved and I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today no, I thank it's you been for a having very me. eventful night so we appreciate you being part of it no cheers I appreciate it and remember to everyone viewing you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews features videos and so much more see you next time